Okay, we're gonna look at a nice geometry problem involving a three, four, five right triangle and four different circles. So like I said, we've got a three, four, five right triangle and then attached to that triangle are three circles. So we've got this yellow circle. So it has radius three halves or one and a half and it goes through this vertex of the triangle and this vertex of the triangle, and its center is the midpoint of the edge between those two vertices. Then we've got companion circles to all of the other edges. So we've got this red circle right here. It goes through this vertex and this vertex, and its center is the midpoint of the edge that connects those two vertices. So that means the radius of that circle is two. Then finally, we've got this light green circle so it's centered at the midpoint of the hypotenuse and it goes through the two vertices that are connected to the hypotenuse. So that makes its radius five halves or two and a half. Then next we form the unique orange circle, which is tangent to these three circles that we have built. So it's tangent to this yellow circle, this green circle, and this red circle. And our goal is to find the radius of this orange circle. Okay, so let's get to it. So first off, what we're gonna do is introduce a coordinate system. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this vertex right here at the origin. So that means that our red circle has kind of an obvious center point of two comma zero. Our yellow circle has a center which is zero three halves. And that means that our green circle, the one attached to the hypotenuse, has a center of two comma three halves. And next we're gonna introduce some notation. So we're gonna say that this orange circle has a center of HK and then it has a radius of R. So let's put the center on the board. We probably won't get it exactly right, but at least like play a nice role so that we can set up a calculation for the radius. So the center will be about right here. So I'll put it here in purple, so that is H comma K. And then next we're gonna draw three radii of this orange circle. So they're all gonna obviously start at the center and they're gonna go through these three centers of our auxiliary circles. So this first one will go from our center H K through this point right here and then to our circle right here. So notice that my picture isn't perfect, but that means that this length right here is R because that's what we've said to be the radius of our circle. Next, we've got a radius from the center of our goal circle. So I've labeled that HK through the center of this yellow circle to our orange circle. So that's gonna go kind of like this. Okay, great, so now we've got two radii in place so far and we need one more. That's gonna go from the center of our circle through the center of this light green circle out to the orange circle. So that's gonna go about like that. Okay, and now we're gonna measure three line segments here and those are gonna be related to these three circles that are building our larger circle. So the first line segment that we wanna measure will go from the center of our larger circle to the center of this circle of radius three. So I'll color code that like this. So this yellow line segment here. Okay, so maybe I'll just draw a yellow line segment over here to denote that that's what I'm gonna measure the length of. And I can measure the length of that two different ways. I can use the distance formula with this coordinate HK and then this coordinate zero three halves to write this as H minus zero squared plus K minus three halves squared. But then I can also notice that it's the radius of my entire circle, so this orange circle, minus the radius of the yellow circle, because notice that gives me a distance of three halves right there. So that gives me the other side of the equation, which I can write as r minus three halves squared. And then next we'll have a similar thing that we'll measure for the red circle. So that'll be the line segment from here to here. So I'll denote that by this red line segment. And so here I can use the distance formula to write this as H minus two squared plus K minus zero squared equals, 
So that's going to be this entire radius minus the radius of the red circle, which is 2 quantity squared. So I've got this as r minus 2 squared. Okay, good. And then I can do the same thing for my last circle, the one that's attached to the hypotenuse. And so that would be like measuring this line segment right here. So I'll write that as this green line segment. And here I've got h minus 2 squared plus k minus 3 halves squared equals r minus 5 halves squared given that the radius of this green circle is 5 halves, like we had previously talked about. Okay, so next up, we'll want to expand each of these three equations, and that'll give us a system of three equations and three unknowns. Okay, so let's get to it. So this first one will give us h squared plus k squared minus 3k plus 9 quarters. Okay, so that's from just squaring h and then squaring this binomial. Now we can square this binomial over here and get r squared minus 3r plus 9 quarters. And now it's nice to notice that this 9 quarters and this 9 quarters cancel each other. Now we can do the same thing for these last two. So we'll have h squared minus 4h plus 4 plus k squared equals r squared minus 4r plus 4. And again, the 4s will cancel. So we can cancel this 4 with this 4. Then finally, we can make a similar calculation down here. So we've got h squared minus 4h plus 4, and then plus k squared minus 3k plus 9 over 4 equals r squared minus 5r plus 25 over 4. And here's where it comes into play that we have a right triangle, specifically a 3, 4, 5 right triangle, because 4 is 16 over 4 plus 9 over 4 is 25 over 4. So that means this guy and this guy cancel with this guy. That leaves us with a little bit more manageable system of equations. Okay, so let's bring that to the top and then we'll talk about how to solve it. So it's useful to take that system of equations that we had on the last board and reorder it so that we can nicely work with the quadratic terms. So I've set capital X equal to H squared plus K squared minus R squared. That gives us this kind of nicer system of equations. So we've got 3K minus 3R equals X. 4h minus 4r is x, and then 3k plus 4h minus 5r is also equal to x. And now I'll notice that if I take these first two equations away from the last equation, I can solve x in terms of r. So let's maybe call this equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. And then notice if I do equation 3 minus equation 2 minus equation 1, I get something that's nice to work with. So let's see what that is. So I'll have negative 5r minus negative 4r minus negative 3r. So that's going to be 2r in the end. And then I'll have 4h minus 4h, that cancels. 3k minus 3k, that cancels. x minus x minus x, so that's going to be a negative x in the end. So that means in the end, I have x equals negative 2r. But now that we have x equals minus 2r, we're kind of home free to find out what k and h are in terms of x. So what we'll see is that h equals r over 2 and k equals r over 3. So there, we've got x, h, and k all in terms of r. But now we can take each of these and plug it into our substitution formula that allowed us to get rid of the quadratic terms. So notice that's going to give us minus 2r equals h squared, but I can write that as r squared over 4, given that it's r over 2 quantity squared, plus r squared over 9, pretty much for the same reason, and then minus r squared. Next, we can notice that our radius is most definitely not zero. 
So that means I can divide both sides by r so that I have a linear equation in r instead of a quadratic equation in r. So that's gonna give me minus two on this left-hand side. And then simultaneously, I'll combine the terms on the right-hand side. And if you do that, you'll see that you get minus 23 over 36r. But now we're pretty much home free. We can multiply by the reciprocal of our coefficient of r, and that's gonna give me r equals 72 over 23. So I think that's pretty fascinating that we got a rational radius for this kind of complicated construction for our circle. And that's a good place to stop.